when we get a monument, it is usually a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle, and then it's the assembly from there. They have a mold that's been made of the clay artist original. So now we need to make a replica of that in wax, and we're gonna build a second mold around that to pour the metal in. They burn these things out about 1300 degrees. It takes a little over an hour to burn them out. And then we'll have a hollow cavity with an imprint of the art on the inside. After they pour the metal and it comes apart in a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle, this is where they actually build it and put it together. This would have been one piece, and then it would have stopped right about here. So they welded this together, and they come in with their texture burrs, and they rechase all the texture to make it back to the artist original. So we're limited in size by our panels at about two foot by two foot. So when you look at a piece this big, you can imagine how many pieces it took to build this monument. Um, they are hollow on the inside, but they have a structural steel armature, and so they're intended to hold up to gale force winds. Once the metal's been assembled and QC'd and sandblasted, it's ready for patina. The idea I want to do is a bronze scale, like you talk about a grayscale photo, mm -hmm. bronze scale, like a sepia tone photo, but with Liver and ferric. Liver and ferric. Okay. You know the routine. Yeah. You've done these before for me. Patina is something that's always chosen by the artist. It's still their artwork. Very rarely do we get the opportunity to say, hey, you just make it beautiful for me to use your best judgment. But it does happen, and it's always a little bit more fun that way. Ninety-nine percent of our patinas are applied with heat. We heat the metal with the propane torch. Patinas are usually applied by layering techniques, um, a variety of different chemicals. And then we can apply whatever chemical needed with an airbrush or a large sprayer. We can use paint brushes, we can use spritz bottles. But when you start adding colors and shading and things like that, you begin to see where the dimensions come out and it just really, really enhances the artist's work.